Hey y'all, this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a fully automated Hell Potion farm. To do this build, you're going to need these materials. As you see, you'll only need one Hell Pepper seed and one Red Herb seed for this, because the seeds will continue growing with these planters. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wall down right here. And then I'm going to put grid snapping on and put these guys pretty much as close to centered as possible to the wall. And then I'm going to go in and plant the first seed. Do this so that I don't accidentally plant both seeds on the side, on the other side. So place the other planters down. And plant the other herbs. Now what I'm going to do is put down a chest to suck them up with. You want to make sure that the chest is right center on the wall here. And then we're going to put absorbers on here. I'm going to put two on each side just to make sure it pulls everything up. Now I'm going to put these guys right in the middle here and here. And now we're going to put the sprinkler right on this side of the wall. And I do this so that if you want to turn off the automation, you can just pull the sprinkler out at any time. Now I'm going to encase all of this in. And top it off. <laughs> and top it off. Alright. Now we put the potion stand down. And use a craft connector to connect it to the chest. And we can set the potion brewing stand for hell potions, infinite, and auto craft. Now I'm going to put a wall up over here and just one below it. Now I can put the dropper and another chest down here. with another absorber on it. And that's it. That is everything needed to make the fully automated Hell Potion farm. You don't need to check on it or anything. It will just suck them up, put them into the potion stand, toss it out and put it in here. So then you'll have your Hell Potions down here. This is a perfect farm to just continue running in the background of your main base as it has a small footprint and runs slow enough that it won't be overflowing with items too quickly. If you need more potions, you can always expand it by adding on more of the small modules as needed. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe and have a great day.